Oh hi, my name is Mr. Artra, and I'm here with some tips on building your very first survival house in a new world. So we are here in a brand new world, the world of tips, and I've got just kind of a simple build palette set up right behind me here. Now you don't necessarily have to use this build palette, this is just what I picked out as things that you were typically able to get a hold of uh, very first thing in the game. So we've got dirt. You've got wood and its plank variants, some cobblestone, and then these these simple things that you can make out of wood. You can also pretty easily get stone and stone brick just by smelting you some cobblestone. Uh, so I included that in your just kind of beginning build palette. Now, of course, this may be a little bit different. Uh, the, the wood type, depending on what biome you're in, you know, it could be spruce, it could be jungle, it could be anything just just not acacia i mean i mean look at that the, it look at it it's just 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 no so the first thing you want to do is find yourself a place to live now i have two options for you one of them is going to be high which is on top of something where nothing can get to you there is no space around thing around the area for things to spawn and try and come and kill you that's that's one way of doing it the other is the hobbit hole which is essentially digging into the side of a hill, right, where I've, where I've done a little bit here. Or you can just find a little cave and spend some time walling it up so that it is safe. And then put down a couple of torches and you'll have, you'll have a very comfortable place to live. Now, this right here, you can take advantage of the stone around the area to give it a nice kind of cavey feel. And then with planks, you can kind of make it a little more intentional, make it a little more lived in. And like there's areas where the cave has, has like dipped down and you've had to make a floor, right? If you take some time and make yourself some smooth stone just by cooking yourself cobble, you can then take that smooth stone to the crafting table and get stone slabs and stone stairs. And you can use these to make it a little more natural looking. And then like to even take out the cobble that you use to make it more safe and replace it with that more natural stone. And then use the stairs and the slabs to make it appear a little more worn, a little more weathered. You can give the impression of stalactites and stalagmites by uh, letting those things hang from the ceiling, or if you wanted to build up from the floor, you can use these same materials to kind of give that dripping effect, like where minerals drip from the ceiling to produce these. And a little bit more like that. You know, to make it more, more authentically cavey. And then with some fencing, you can create supports to you know show that you have you have used your wooden materials to kind of reinforce it um oftentimes with caves they're not quite stable so you use these supports in order to keep it from falling down on you the point is is that you want to make things look as authentic as possible like they would in real life and it just takes a little bit of uh using the materials that you have to kind of reinforce things later later on if you wanted to get a little more a little more fancy you could add in a bookshelf uh to just like one of the one of the crannies that you have found like bam there's there's a bookshelf bam bam bookshelf bam bookshelf hanging from the ceiling like that these are some things you can do to make your home uh, defensible and looking nice at the same time you can also use trap doors uh, if you were on the side here to to give yourself some some kind of windows or as a headboard if you if you wanted to if you had a little bit more space to work with right and you can see I've taken just a little bit more time here to kind of open up the room and uh, make it a little bit more a little bit more homey and then we can use this little lowered area here for um, kind of like a reading reading area that kind of deal maybe some furnaces over here in the corner 
you know, move that support there. And you can even have some of these fences hanging from the ceiling a little bit, just to add a little bit more interest. And a little bit, like once you have some iron, if you just break down one of those ingots, you can get lanterns and smack those babies at the bottom, which is just a little little nicer way of doing your lighting. Because like torches just hanging off the side there starts to starts to look a little obnoxious after some time, you know what I mean? Like this doesn't look as nice as that. Right? Right? And for a touch of greenness, you can encourage grass to grow by connecting it with grass, right? So you could bring some in uh, to add a little bit of color, right? Like that. And I'm going to have you replace it. But eventually, after some time, it'll grow. And then you close that back up. And you've got a little bit of grass that you can move around. Put like a little peony there or, you know, any, any flower at all, really. Um... I'm gonna do a peony and a lily of the valley, right? Just just adds a little green, adds a little life. Um, if you take shears, you know, which are just a couple of iron, you can get leaf blocks, and I'll use oak leaves for this. You can get oak leaves and really just like smack them on the ground if you wanted to, but you can use oak leaves to fill in a corner or if you didn't have a light source here, if it was dark, mobs don't spawn on leaf blocks. So all the little dark spots back here, you can just pile in some leaves. It'll add in some green and also protect you. And then just some stairs to make your entrance a little more accessible. Reinforce the wall just a tiny bit there. Something like that. Even this will be okay, as long as mobs aren't just showing up randomly. Uh, just keeping it lit. Here, let's turn it to nighttime. Right? Oh, spooky dark. Spooky dark. But you can see right here, it's still pretty nicely lit up. And you could, you know, just throw some torches down, light up the area above. Just to make sure that things aren't going to be spawning near your entrance. And there you go. You've got you've got a nice, cozy little home in here where you can read, do a little bit of home cooking, uh, sleep. You know, all all the, the the basic amenities. Now we come to option two, the building on top of something inaccessible to anyone else. Just find yourself an outcropping. Find yourself something on 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 top of a mountain. Really, just as long as it's a, a hard-to-get-to place. And then, very similarly to before, we break it up. Make yourself a flat area. You've got a, a, a flat spot on a tower actually overlooking the ocean. This, this is not a bad area right here. I used to do a lot of digging into the sides of mountains. That was my That was my method of choice when it came to survival because I just wanted to make sure I was... Uh, I was unassailable by digging a hole, walling it off, and lighting that up. But here, what we can do is just make a shape, any old shape, as long as it is uh, not going to be too expensive for you. Because remember, this is from the beginning. So anything like that is fine. You can even... You know, it's that's the thing. It doesn't need to be any particular shape. It just needs to be something that you can that you can wall off relatively easily. Now, I start with a cobblestone base. When I think of a building that is that uses the materials that we're using, just kind of your your wood and stone, cobblestone base comes to mind. Not sure why. That's just like it like the that's the way they built the foundation of the building, right? So even this, this small area, so cobble, maybe one or two high. Yeah, like that. And then you can use wood if you are, I mean, hopefully you are near some wood. Generally, there is some nearby, like, like over yonder. You take your wood 
and then you make that a second layer. A lot of people, when they're asking about building tips, they're they're thinking about a house as something that you you just put together, like it's just an object. But when you're when you're talking about making something look good, you need to think of it more like a painting. You do things in layers. So right now we're establishing a base layer, kind of the the base coat. Right, so see, this is this is very flat. It looks it looks kind of boring right now, but that's that's why we do the things in layers. So like that, and then hopefully by this point you've got yourself a furnace, <laughs> and and have cooked yourself up some stone. So you can use that to if you've got these areas, kind of build up the base so that it doesn't look quite so flat, like this, right? So that kind of, it helps to improve the, the kind of sight of it. So now that you've got your, your base layer, make sure you've got a good entrance. Which is easy for you to access, but not necessarily easy for mobs to get to you. So what I like to do is put a little hole there where our door is going to be. And then... You can either just put a straight block, or um, or you can put stairs down. Either way, the point is is that that gap there is going to prevent mobs from following you into the building because they can't jump. So you can either at this point make this a raised entrance, or you can fill in the bottom like this, so you just have the wood walls. Personally, I'm going to fill it in because. I, I like I like the wood walls. This is just the way I do it. So we've got the floor here. Now this this has established us just a nice reasonably sized room, right? You probably want to bring it up just a little bit more. Having a higher ceiling makes things feel less cramped, less claustrophobic. For the purposes of survival, the next thing you want to do for your roof is probably take some slabs. Some slabs give you the opportunity to make nice looking things, but are also spawn proof. And then stairs. Again, these are non spawnable. And the reason we're using these is it will allow us to have a little bit more variety in what we're doing. So it's not just flat. So like that, right? So then we have the stairs giving us another level to work with. So then we can come and place slabs up here again. Now, slabs need to be um, on the bottom part of a block in order to uh, be spawn proof. So that's why we've used the stairs to get this, like bring, bring it up at an angle, right? Without making any area that is spawnable. And then once you've done that, just bring out the slabs uh, around so they overhang off the roof. This, I, I mean, this is this is an aesthetic thing, but it's also a survival thing. When spiders chase you home, they will climb up on your roof, and by having this overhang here, it will keep them from dropping down on you if you go to peek out from underneath your roof. So, a little bit of protection there. No matter what stage you're working on, when you have made yourself a room, make sure you light up the inside of it, because it will be dark enough to spawn things in, and you can get blown up in the middle of a build, and that will make nobody happy. Next step is the depth layer. So you want to do things like grab stairs and slabs and fences and trap doors and things like that, because what we're going to do is add to the outside so to give it more depth so probably something like add another layer of cobble to the outside and i mean again these are these are my personal choices these are how i particularly build so you know if you wanted to do different materials here that is totally fine that is not going to affect anything at all these are all aesthetic choices uh-huh, 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 looking good, looking nice, looking fancy, right? We've already got more of a sense of depth. So right here, this is a totally survivable house. It will protect you. 
you will be able to survive. You can decorate the inside with um, a bed. Get yourself a couple of furnaces like that, something like that there. And then crafting table there. And I mean, there you go. That's that's a basic, basic little home right here, right? A little more effort though, and we can make it look really nice. So let's take these stairs here. Really easy step can be used to make it look a little more weathered, like it's been here for a little while. And there you go, there's just some steps taken out, make it look a little more, a little more weathered. Maybe a little fence every now and then. Kind of like it's reinforcing the uh, the overhanging roof there. Okay, and once you, you have this wood layer here, one thing you can do to break it up is replace the bottom layer with logs. Now this isn't your typical home. It's definitely a little more abstract, but what we're what we're trying to do is adapt with the environment. So while I've given you some advice on how to make a building and it is I I'm going to be very honest with myself, it is not it is not a very pretty building. It isn't. But it's survivable and it looks nicer than just a dirt hut or or just a box, right? So I hope you enjoyed the video today. This has just been some tips and tricks on how to build your first starter home and how to make it look, look a little nicer. If you haven't yet, please hit like and subscribe. I'm also on Twitch. I'm also on Twitter. So follow me on there as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, deuces.